News for News. you. Philadelphia's police commissioner, six officers in shootout survived. Not completely resolved, but I think you've been informed that uh, SWAT was able to successfully extract uh, the two police officers that were trapped upstairs as well as uh, three prisoners. And they were all taken out safely uh, thus far. However, this male is still holed up uh, inside here. We were talking to him for one of the first times, basically no more than 30 or 40 minutes ago, um, making a little bit of progress. Um, it appeared that his attorney was on a three-way line, was trying to assure him that you know we weren't here to harm him. Uh, but uh, after that, conversation ceased. But we do know that he's, he's still alive. I'm just trying to appeal to him you know, that, you know, he's got a reason that he needs to come out and surrender. Right now, we have gone from a uh, hostage situation to a barricade because uh, all of the hostages were taken out safely. And I can't say enough about what all the responders did, um, but most importantly, what SWAT did and all their support, uh, Homeland Security and everyone there uh, that was involved, as well as everyone that assisted in negotiations. Uh, but again, we've still got a situation that is not completely resolved. We still want to get this mail out, obviously, uh, unscathed. Uh, we don't know if he's injured. Uh, in my conversations with him, it doesn't appear that he is, but I'm not sure. Uh, so we will keep you apprised, but didn't want to uh, keep you in the dark about where we were and have you just have to speculate about the status regarding uh, the police officers and the hostages. We are very, very lucky. Uh, with six police officers shot in one incident. Um, it is remarkable that, you know, I believe a couple of them have been released already. Uh, and so it is nothing short of astounding that in such a confined space that we didn't have more of a tragedy than we did. So we're so thankful uh, that they were able to get out. We were able to get the other folks out. They, the uh, prisoners that were in there are also unharmed. And I don't even know miraculously how that happened because there were multiple gunshots fired. Um, he fired shots while I was on location. Um, he hasn't done so in a while. Um, so we're optimistic that that means he's starting to understand that, you know, there's some benefit to him uh, coming out and surrendering. But we still don't know if that's going to be the case. Uh, as you know, this was a narcotics warrant that, that went awry almost immediately. Um, and uh, the officers came under fire. Uh, the reason they were in different parts of the houses is a protocol, the way they search to make sure safely that they can secure every part of the house as quickly as they can. And unfortunately, some got trapped upstairs, and those were the ones we were talking about. I think they were taking gunfire upstairs as well. Uh, so again, it's, it's nothing short of a miracle that we don't have multiple officers killed today. So we're so thankful to them. Somebody over here had a question? How did two officers get out? Well, SWAT did that. They were so adept um, at doing that. Um, they've got a skill set that they were able to utilize uh, tonight and they were able to use stealth to do it. Um, and it was uh, absolutely remarkable the way they did it to watch that unfold and to, to do so in large part without him being aware or at least we don't think he was aware. I mean and so their bravery as well as the bravery of every other officer that you know took fire today because they took fire today as well. You know, just about everybody at that scene did at some point in time. So we've got, once we get him out, we will have a very, very expansive um, crime scene that we will be at for hours and hours, as you can clearly see. It's clearly not the most optimal circumstance, but obviously officers did return fire initially. Um, and uh, there, there were different bouts of fire as he was firing uh, throughout the course of this uh, encounter. Yo, thanks for watching on YouTube. Click below and subscribe.